this is a full tutorial on how to set up your domain inside of Koha level for your websites, funnels, and also for your emails. For example, I have this funnel, but the domain connection is missing. So we want to go to settings in the bottom left corner, then click domains, and then click connect domain in the top right corner. Email connection will be done in the second part of the video. For now, we'll just click connect in the first row, and then we type in our domain, and then click continue. And then we click continue again. And if you bought your domain at GoDaddy or Cloudflare, the connection happens automatically. But if Go High Level cannot connect automatically, like in our case, we will need to add records manually. After you see this records, you need to go log in into your domain provider. Mine is named cheap, yours can be different, but they all work the same way. Since I want to connect danielgiba.com, I click manage, and then I want to find advanced DNS settings. For example, I have a couple of domains in Squarespace as well, and if I go into any of them, I will be able to find the same DNS settings as well here. It looks different here, but it works the same way. You just want to scroll until you find this add record button. Anyway, we're back to Namecheap, and we want to click here advanced DNS. And now we just copy and paste records provided by GoHigh Level. We will copy this required value and then go and add that record, a record. Then for the value, we're going to paste what we copied from GoHigh Level. And for the host, we're going to use the symbol we saw previously. And then we click save changes. Then we go back, copy what's in the required value for the CNAME record. And we remember that for the host, we will have to put three W's. We click add new record and we find CNAME three W's and paste what we copied previously and then click check mark. We should be good to go. We go back to go high level and we click verify records. Speaking from experience, it takes time to process and start working properly in the back end. So we want to be patient here, but you know what? It only took a couple of seconds. Okay. And now we can connect our domain to a funnel website or other places. For us, it's going to be opt-in funnel and it's going to be first page of the funnel. And if you click advanced options, I usually put the first page of the funnel as a error page and I click proceed to finish. Now let's go to our funnel and test if it works. So sites, funnels, and then now as you can see, HTTPS, Daniel Giba, start. So we can test it out if it works in the browser. So we just copy and paste this URL link, boom, danielgiba.com start, and everything works. Okay, now we want to connect our domain to send branded emails to increase email deliverability so we can avoid spam folder. And again, we want to go to the bottom left corner into settings, and then we can click domains again, and we can connect domain right now, email. Connect. The default email provider in Goha level is Lead Connector, which means we can already send emails. But because it's a shared domain and so many people use it, the reputation is not great. So it's very likely our emails will land in spam. Now, it gives us an example of what we should enter, like lcmydomain.com. Now, there are a lot of helpful tips on the screen right now, but to help you understand, in short, as you can see, I used subdomain mail dot danielgiba.com and this is my root domain and now i used mail as a subdomain now what does it mean it means that danielgiba.com it will be used for my google workspace so it's like gmail but for businesses right and then i will use it for everything related to my business invoicing software signups getting payments for my clients paying for stuff and I really need this domain to have a good reputation so all my emails land in inbox and not in spam. And that's why we want to create a different, like a subdomain, right? Which is gonna be working separately and that will be used for marketing purposes to send like hundreds and thousands of emails every day. So worst case scenario, if this subdomain has a bad reputation over time, my root domain will still be safe. And the letters or word you use for the subdomain don't really matter. You can use LC, you can use mg you can use whatever you want i will do mail then we click add and verify and the same thing happens if it can't be done automatically we will have to enter those records manually same drill here we want to one by one copy them and paste them into our domain provider to make it easier i'll just split the screen okay one thing that i want to show you here is if i click add new record i will not be able to find mx on the list what we need to do is we actually when you see here email forwarding you will find custom mx and this is what we need okay so that's how it looks in the mail settings those are the two mx records and for the host records those are the ones uh, the top three now we go back to the go high level and then click verify records so all records are verified except the last one and as you can see it says field is optional so for now we'll just click verify the main again i think we're done yes and ssl is issued everything looks good Good. There is one thing left that we can adjust, but it's not required. You can see here it says dedicated header. This is essentially what the default header is whenever you send out your email. If you want, we click these three dots and then we click set headers. And then we can enter our name and domain so that it says our name every time we send an email. This is, for example, how it would look for me. It's up to you if you want to do this. I would personally do this only if I was running the company by myself and there was no, no one else sending emails. I personally don't want to do this, so I will click clear configuration. 
And that's essentially all you need to know about setting up a dedicated domain for your websites and emails. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like so more people can discover it and benefit from it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.